Ravana was furious and left immediately. After a while, Trijata, a she-demon, told everyone around there that she had a nightmare that Lanka was going to get ruined because of Ravana has kept Sita as captive. So they all should beg for Sita's mercy. Hearing this, all she-demons left the Vatika immediately. When Hanuman saw Sita sitting alone, he sang Rama's story in a sweet voice. Sita was delighted to hear the song and asked the singer to come forward. Hanuman came in front of her and introduced himself. He told her that he was the messenger of Lord Rama. He also narrated to Sita about how Rama missed her and how he grieved for her. Sita forgot her own sufferings when she heard about those of Rama's. Hanuman gave her Rama's ring and told her that he would come soon to take her back home. Sita told Hanuman that his visit had lifted her spirits. She also gave him her ring as a token of love for Rama. After taking leave from Sita, Hanuman pondered for a while about doing something which would scare Ravana and prevent him from troubling Sita. An idea struck his mind. He turned himself into a huge form and then began destroying the beautiful Ashokavana. He uprooted the huge trees and destroyed the beautiful landscapes. Animals ran away in fear. The demons too were scared of Hanuman. They rushed to narrate to Ravana about the news of the havoc caused by Hanuman. The demons told Ravana about a huge monkey who had a conversation with Sita following which he created a havoc in the royal garden. Ravana was furious. He asked his body gods to kill the monster monkey. Soon there was a battle between Hanuman and Ravana's gods. Hanuman killed all of them. Then Ravana sent another matchless warrior Jambumali. Hanuman uprooted a huge tree and hurled it at him which killed Jambumali then and there. Then Ravana sent his brave son Akshay Kumar. Seeing him Hanuman rushed at him and broke his chariot. A great battle began in the air between Akshay Kumar and Hanuman. Finally Hanuman crushed Akshay's bones and he fell down dead. Ravana enraged due to son's death ordered his most valiant son Indrajit. Indrajit used the Brahmastra the super weapon as it touched Hanuman he lay inactive.